high spend support families and community. I'm Kristen Swan, Superintendent of Schools. I'm so excited to share the work that's been occurring in our district. This year, we've engaged in a strategic planning process. Our work is helping us recommit to the priorities of providing the highest possible quality education that we can for our students. In addition, we're also working on a capital improvement project. We want to ensure that our physical spaces are safe and healthy for our students. Because these two initiatives are so closely aligned, I've coined them under one term, future ready. We want to make sure that our students have the learning opportunities and the physical spaces that will help them prepare for their future and be ready to meet the demands of their global world. The Capital Improvement Project uh, for 2022 started with uh, an evaluation of our BCS as well as uh, utilizing our facility task force to bring uh, together a scope. So we used our task force which is a group of uh, faculty and staff as well as design professionals. We used real-time data as well as using information that was generated out of our building condition survey. From a top-down approach, we looked at all of our needs and began to really focus on the critical items as it relates to facilities and infrastructure. We know that facilities and infrastructure have a direct impact on our students. It also helps and encourages attaining and retaining our faculty and staff. So it's really important that we focus on these items. We also t uh, paid attention to the life cycle of our critical assets, of our critical uh, infrastructure items. So we focused on our roofing, we focused on paving, we looked at our boilers across the district, as well as other items such as our playgrounds and secured entries. My name is Christopher Mears, and I'm the Director of Security here for Spencerport Central School District. I've been on the job for about a month now, and I'm really enjoying uh, getting to know the students and staff and familiarizing myself with the district's safety initiatives. The district is taking part in a capital improvement project, which includes secured vestibules at each of our schools and the district office, as well as expanding video coverage of all the buildings and the campus. The vestibule entrance is the standard for school development across the country now. Most schools, when they're being built, are moving to this style of entranceway to secure the entrances. These vestibules will direct visitors to one central location for screening. We can check to see that they have appointments and then uh, admit them into the building. We also need to remain mindful that we want our buildings to be welcoming to students and staff. We want people to feel comfortable coming into the buildings when they come to visit and we try to keep that vision in mind as we're making these improvements. So this capital improvement project is just one piece of the district's plan to increase security throughout the district. Improvements to cameras, additional security, uh, appointment of a, of a designated security director, these are all aspects of a larger plan to bring more safety and security to this district. The 2022 capital improvement project vote will be held on Tuesday, December 13th, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. in the district office building.